Our next speaker is Ced Cedric Roy. Roy. He is the head of the program office uh, e-government in Switzerland. Uh, and since 2016, he is in charge of the implementation of the e-government strategy Switzerland, which has been defined and adopted by the Swiss Confederation in cooperation with the cantons and communes. And today, he will tell us a bit about how he set up the organization and the business model to facilitate the sharing and reuse of IT solutions in Switzerland. Roy? Exactly. Cedric <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> So, good afternoon, everybody. I'm very pleased to be here with you. I will uh, first say thank you to the European Commission for the invitation. Um, I will present two examples of business models that may help sharing and reusing solution. So, my name is Cédric Roy. It's a French name, sorry. <laughs> and I'm effectively uh, the head of program uh, office e-government Switzerland. I've been working for the last 10 years for the public administration, and I'm currently located in the Federal Department of Finance. If you are uh, with me right now, you will notice um, that I'm telling you maybe not all the truth. I say I work for the Swiss Confederation, but uh, at the bottom of this first slide, you will see four logos. This is not a LinkedIn, Twitter, or, or um, so what? It is my um, chiefs. So the Swiss Confederation, the cantons, the Swiss cities, and the Swiss communes. <laughs> OK, you will, you, you will understand later. <laughs> but I have, uh, before I come to the main uh, theme, I have to explain you uh, something about the Swiss federal state and how it is organized. Sorry. Sorry. So, Switzerland is divided into 26 regions. Sorry for Matthias, you know everything, but <laughs> I have to, to make a refreshment. <laughs> Uh, in 26 regions that we call cantons. All these cantons are divided into municipalities that we call communes. There are more than 2,000 communes in Switzerland. Although there is a federal government with federal institutions, each canton and each commune has its own government and administration. In every administration, you will, of course, find human resources, financial, and technical services. In every commune and every canton, you'll find also specific laws and orders. So, in this kind of constellation, something like uh, Little Europe, or uh, how can you imagine to implement a national e-government strategy? How can you reuse and share software development between the federal state, the cantons, and even the communes? So my first example will be precisely e-government Switzerland. <clears throat> the confederation, the cantons, and the commune are pursuing a joint e-government strategy. <coughs> They have added to four strategic, strategic aims, service orientation, usefulness and effectiveness, innovation and promotion of Swiss economy, and sustainability. The implementation of a strategy is based on the terms of a public law framework agreement on e-government cooperation, which has been signed by the Federal Council and the Conference of the Cantonal Governments. The agreement defines the organization of the cooperation, the tasks and the responsibilities of each entity, and an annual cost saving of 5 million Swiss francs for the activities. With this budget, the parties finance the strategic, the strategic plan for 4 million and the program office for 1 million a year. The strategic plan consists of eight strategical projects, four services, and a few innovation projects. So, it is. <laughs> so, what is the structure of e-government Switzerland? At the top of um, the presentation, you'll find two committees which are composed of representatives of the three institutional levels, three members for each level. The first committee is the political committee. It is chaired by the Minister of Finance of the Swiss government. 
the Federal Chancellor and the State Secretary for Economic Affairs, Finance Minister of Cantons and Mayors of Communes are also members of this board. The committee decides on the strategy and on the budget allocation. The second committee here is the planning committee. It is chaired by the representative of one canton. The nine members are all e-government experts. The committee plans and controls the implementation of the strategy. It advises, it advises the issues handled by the steering committee and prepares its decisions. All the committee members are designated and also paid by their own organizations. Special, specialized organizations are responsible for implementing the strategic projects and services here. Among those, you'll find federal offices or associations. Lastly, in the middle, the program office, which consists of four employees, four, not more, <laughs> And we are in charge of the coordination and the communication. We are also responsible for all the financial aspects and for the development of the strategy. Now I think you understand all the logos under my first slide. At this point, I would like to mention three things. First, the program office is attached for administrative purpose to the federal IT steering unit, and my office should follow all the rules of the Swiss Confederation. Secondly, for each project or, each or service, the program office has signed a contract with the organization in charge of the implementation. The contract describes the goals to be attained, the funds allocated, and the deadlines. As the organization is normally also a unit of the Swiss administration or a canton or a city, there is no question concerning public procurement between the office and the organization. But, and lastly, the question of public procurement applies to every organization we finance when they pass a contract with a contractor. Okay, on this, on this slide you see four projects of the strategic, strategic plan that concerns directly the Confederation, the cantons, and the communes. E-voting, you know what it is, is the introduction of electronic voting nationwide. E-moving is reporting of uh, processing of addresses when the citizen moves from a commune to another one. EID, you know what it is. Uh, goal is that um, we establish an electronic identity that is valid nationally and maybe also internationally. Lastly, e-operation, and this will be my second example. Uh, you remember I told you that, that sustainability is a goal of the strategy. We have decided to create an organization supported by the Swiss Confederation and the cantons. This organization should assume operational and organizational tasks in the IT domain across all federal levels. Until 2019, e-government Switzerland will finance the establishment of the infrastructure and the implementation of two services by the new organization. The first service will be e moving. The operation will not be an operating, sorry, it's very sensitive. Okay. The operation will not be an operating center, but will provide service marketing, partner management, project management, and service management. Specifically for e-moving e-operation, will promote the project in all the cantons, settle the question of funding model, assist the cantons in their own implementation, and coordinate further developments. If e-operation would not exist, each canton will have to do all these tasks itself. <coughs> However, the, the question we are still facing are what type of legal entity is appropriate, how should this entity be financed, and what is the business model? What position will this entity have in the government ecosystem? As we are in the, in, in the initialization phase of the project, we will have this answer to the question in a couple of weeks. So, in conclusion, from my point of view, the success factor for the cooperation in the Swiss e-government requires common objectives, common steering, common budget, common projects, and steady exchanges. And I think we are here today for such an exchange.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Cedric.